Hey everyone, welcome to True Gamers Presents Ramadan Royal, powered by Zota Gaming with our broadcast partner, the Esports Club. It's your, it's your boy Bullet on the desk with me, John on the side. It's going to be my co-caster for the day, Mr. Raider. So Raider, welcome to the show again yeah. and how are you doing today? I'm pretty pumped up, ma'am. I mean, in the previous week, we got to see Fortnite action. It was a very good 1v1 action, to be honest. Swifty taking over KKO3. Uh, very good change of pace, to be honest. But today, changing the game yeah. is going to be the case in this beautiful, beautiful Ramadan Royal event. And we have got EAFC24 action. That means all the soccer fans are going to pitch in and we are going to witness a lot of interesting choices when it comes to teams, clubs and also the players. Have to see how the formations yeah. are going to work out, how many goals are going to get delivered in every single particular leg. So I'm pretty excited about the day in order to answer your question. Yeah, def definitely, man. Of course, uh, we also have the entire format ready. Like, it's definitely all right mm -hmm. on my screens right now. But before we discuss the format of the entire game, let's uh, take a look at what's at the stakes right now for this Ramadan Royal, for this particular title, which is na named as EFC 24. Of course, the winner will be taking home 1,380. The runner-up will be taking home 780. And the second runner-up, to be precise, the third position player in the entire tournament will be taking home 580. So, total of 2500 AD is what the stakes is all about. Not just that, also the bragging rights of winning the True Gamers Presents Ramadan Royal, which is a power bet, of course, one and only Zyrtec Gaming. It is going to be a challengeful match. It is going to be one of those equations where we'll get to see a lot of shifts when it comes to the pace of his build. Initially, I believe the first 15 minutes or 25 minutes in the game are going to be one of those moments where both the players are going to test each other's nerves, trying to take the ball position, yeah. trying to make sure that they have the mid control and move forward and get some good wing flanks as well into their picture. But it's just not going to be easy. That's what I truly believe at this point because it's the cafe action that we are going to witness. Let's talk about our first two opponents. Let's talk about who are the first two gamers in the EFC 24 action. In order to start it off, we have Kelly against Atlas. Yep, the first game can be a really, really interesting one, folks, because we have seen the same when it comes down towards the title of Fortnite. That it was a 1v1 action, it was a very close quarter action, but the stakes are kind of being changed. But I feel like, yes, because it's a 1v1, the one single opponent will be facing down his true nemesis on towards the other side in this particular Ram Ramadan Royale. But yes, Kelly facing up the side of Atlas. I really want to see, uh, yeah. this is going to be a format where the players is going to pick up some ultimate team. The ultimate team or is going to be an, for the kickoff mode. I do believe that's going to be in the, uh, in the mode of the kickoff, in the kickoff mode where players will be selecting all of the mm -hmm. clubs. The players will be selecting their favorite, you know, rest yeah. of the world teams. And there will be the battle of, you know, somewhere around that we always see in this EAFC 24, this particular season uh, uh, title, the, the team named as, you know, France, the team, uh, if I'm not wrong, named as uh, the... Uh, Manchester United are pretty much kind of like the old part when it comes down to the stats, True. comes down to the player statistics. But things can yeah. change because we are talking about Ramadan Real and of course the players are from different regions. So we can experience, we can we can observe, we can see some different tactics, different team selection, different player choices on towards the strikers and can definitely come into the play for this particular league. I mean, of course, the choices can be made, but at the same point, the room of mistakes is not going to be that big. It's quite narrow because as I said earlier as well, it's just not about the price pool. It's all about the bragging rights. It's all about how the competition goes on. So I'm totally looking forward to see how the game goes on from here and eventually how the first game is going to get started. No doubt that the competition will be absolutely amazing. So you talked about teams like France. You talked about like clubs like Manchester United. Of course, when uh, you talk about this particular game, EFC 24, from the get-go, these two teams, or should I say team and club respectively, have been very, very amazing when it comes to having the right stats for the right players. I'm looking forward to see who's going to go for France, but I truly believe that there are going to be a lot of choices for Team France. Yeah, let's see. We have definitely seen a lot uh, in a lot of these, you know, EFC 24 tournaments and a lot of these uh, uh, in, in circuit region tournaments that uh, one of the teams is definitely overpicked by the entire entire player base in that particular tournament for the entire entire day, entire entire tournament, if you ask me. But like I said, this is another region. We might see another set of tactics, another set of formations being come into the play. But yes, I'm really looking forward on how we see all of those head-to-head -head games, on how we see uh, some of the players using all of those uh, skill moves, all of those different kind of uh, formation, all of the set pieces laid down on the pitch area to get the capitalization and to watch their opponent, to get that, you know, slightest, slighted bit of advantage towards their opponent's end. Exactly. I mean, that is going to be the case when it comes to having the same particular team. Like maybe Kelly and Atlas, both of them are going to choose the same exact team, which is going to be France. And at that point, you really have to have an edge 
it could be in terms of a player like uh, DAB could be getting substituted, Palamani could be coming in. All those situations can be very, very interesting. But before we begin, we'll be starting off with a quick short break. And after that, we'll be back to see what happens in the EFC 24 contest of this True Gamers Presents Ramadan Royal. Welcome back to True Gamers Presents Zamada and Royal Powered by Zotai Gaming and our broadcast partner, the Esports Club. Yes, we had to take a small, small break before we jump in straight into the game. But yes, we have the confirmation. We have the players that will be ready and waiting. It's going to be Fozzy facing up the side of HXR94 for the first 
matchup for this week's EA FC 24 uh, tournament for the Crew Gamers presents Ramadan Raya. Well, I'm pretty excited to see how these lads are going to perform, which teams they're going to choose, how they're going to substitute along the way, what kind of play they're going to bring, what kind of formations will be there, what kind of strategies will be getting built and are they ready with the skill set moves. Well, to be honest, I have too many questions, but then again, those questions are going to get answered in about like 12 to 15 minutes of the real-time action or should I say 90 minutes of the first leg that is going to happen very soon. And I'm also patiently waiting to see how these guys are going to perform to out the way. Whoever is going to like win the particular matchup is of course going to move to the next particular stage. But I truly believe that uh, it's more about the bagging else, it's more about the experience that these guys are going to get so in the Ramada Royal we are patiently waiting to see how the first game goes on yeah let's see what's going to be the play I want to see which teams are going to get picked for the first matchup of the day it's going to tell a lot about the player thinking the player mentality what they want to play as in what they what kind of you know, formations can we see around what kind of you know, set pieces tactics can be laid out from uh, the side of Nofozi and of course from the side of HXR. Let me remind you folks, of course, this is not going to be in the double elimination kind of a format. It's going to be in the format of single elimination only. So, of course, the, when we talk about the you know the minutes, how the minutes have been set on towards the half, of course, one single half will be uh, around five minutes or around to five, six minutes if you, you know, combine the extra stoppage time somewhere around the fouls and everything. But yes, this is a single elimination bracket only. So if anyone's was on in the first first game itself towards the second game itself, you will be straight up out of this uh, true game as present Ramadan Real. So it's basically bullet that every single guy has to perform from the get go. It's not like you are going to take yeah. a breather and you might actually get the chance to play back again. So if you lose, yes, you're going to be on the back end. But I truly believe that even if you lose, you have that learning curve, you have that experience that you're going to get and you yeah. will get to know that what went wrong and you can improve that in the next Ramadan Royal yeah. action. So for now, I am patiently waiting to see how the first game goes on, what kind of play that is going to bring in. That's what we are going to witness and also pretty much hyped to see which teams are going to come. Uh, let's see. Uh, I'm definitely looking forward to, to the same part Ray, where you say uh, what kind of you know mm -hmm. teams will, will be getting picked up from these players, which Sorry. teams particularly will be picked up by these players competing in this Ramadan rally. But if you ask me, as this is not in the ultimate uh, team mode, again, I feel like France will be the team to get picked by these players because France has the highest rating in the overall in the in the kickoffs. And yes, I feel like uh, if I want to make a prediction, I feel like, of course, both of the players will be picked by France. I know the prediction that came through from my mind or maybe from the production end. So, okay, Bullet is ready with this prediction, guys. He has said that. France is going to come, but I can confirm that France is going to be the let's, let, let's, let's take I another prediction, left. Reader. Dude. Let's take a, let's take another prediction. Who do you think? Who's going to win? Oh, okay. I think Fozzy. Fozzy might be the guy who is going to win. It's just randomly, guys. I like the name. So I'm just going to say that he is going to be the winner because we have not yet seen the action. That's what we are dying here for. And I'm looking forward to see yeah. how the action gets started. Which particular uh, player is going to take that dominating hand instantly? In the game, that's what we really want to know. But yeah, I have predicted for Z, so I'm not going to step back from that corner. But yeah, about the teams, it's going to be France. Now it all trickles down to who are the playing 11. That's what really matters. Yeah, there have been some transfers, if I'm not wrong, because this is also the, I feel like this particular uh, month of March, April, up till June, July, the month of, uh, up, uh, from the side of March up till June, July, is, is the transfer season when it comes down to the European League. I could be wrong. The, the right. months uh, for the month period have been changed. So we do, we, we can, we might see some changes in the defending and the midfielding uh, players, the, the, the back end okay. and the, the midfielders. But I don't think the strikers are getting replaced. I don't think the Mbappe will be getting replaced. I don't think the star started players or those, you know, five, five, uh, five star rated players or the four star rated players are going to get changed inside the game. Of course, there's a reason why they're in the uh, in the IRL team as well. And there's a reason why because they're a part of the IRL team. So they're part inside the game as well. So, yes, yeah, the statistics are not going to get affected that much, if you ask me, Raider. But it all comes down to the individual play from all of these participating players in the Ramadan Royal. How they set their set piece tactics, how they set their instruction, how they're completely playing in from the default settings. How they want to approach in the game? Are they going to go all-out attack, or they want to just play on towards the normal balance mode of you know passing on the ball, going for the one-touch passes, trying to break away, trying to find an angle to you know convert the ball into for a cross, trying to go for a header. Anything can happen around in these you know 
five minutes, you know, combined, combined five minutes in the 11, 12 minutes of the game. Of course, we'll be getting the winner who's gonna go towards the second round. But if you have the confirmation, folks, the game is more than ready. We'll be jumping straight into the game. All right, here we go. We begin and eventually it does feel like that. We are going to see a lot of interesting moments. Mbappe was seeking for the pass, but instantly Nakunku comes in. Tomini wanted to take the mid control. Okay, now it's Mbappe going up high, but Saliba is going to defend. Okay, that's an interesting choice. Saliba getting substituted because here we usually see Theo coming into the picture. But Theo is a guy who loves to play on the left wing. But this time it's going to be Coman and Hernandez playing on that wing. Interesting choices. Let's see Ooh, what's going to be the play. Game. Oh! As I got the throw from my Kokas, it's going to be the first goal. Coming in on towards the seven minutes of the game, right at the very beginning of the game, if you ask me. And I feel this is as, you know, Fauji's playing on the home side and he's playing with the home kit. There's a first goal coming in from the side of Fauji. So it might come down to the section where I feel, Trader, you might be correct with your prediction. I mean, your random predictions are so good, man. Okay. Thanks, thanks for that, man. I'm going to take the credit for sure. But yeah, for now, of course, Fozzy is the one which is taking the lead. But I truly believe that the next next remaining approximately 75 minutes in the game are going to be even more crucial. You have to maintain that momentum. You have to maintain that pressure. And even if you see the passes are looking way much cleaner at this point, the sprints are looking good, the skill set moves are actually working out. And currently, it's Nikunku who might actually possibly get that goal. But the interception comes in. Unfortunately, that's not going to be enough. But... Fortunately, the goalkeeper was right there, intercepted it, deflected the shot. For now, it's the mid control that was lost, and from the left wing, Mbappe wanted to pass to Rabio, but unfortunately, the pass was not that clean enough. And that's how, once again, the ball position falls in the courtyard of one and only Fozzi. Uh, it's, uh, it's really uh, good to see all of these, you know, one touch tackles, one touch passes are coming on to the player, coming in from the side of Fozzi. Of course, a good interception again comes in from the side of HXR. He's trying the level best to not let Fozzy get away with another goal, but it's going to happen. A really good chance. Let's take a look at the replay now, folks. He passed on towards the strikers, and Dembele was right there to take the charge, and he puts it away. 2 0. I mean, that's the beauty for Fozzy, to be honest. Yeah. yeah. His passes look good, so I am looking forward to see if he's going to be effective throughout the game. Or there are going to be some certain changes coming in. For now, it is definitely going to be one of those equations where we'll get to see another attack being proved. Hernandez from the left wing goes in for a big shot, but the header clears it away from the inner to the midfields for now. Wiesmann moving in forward, a very good midfielder. Mbappe passes it over to Dembele. Dembele is going to once again for sure make sure that the assist come through. Oh my god, this could be the possible first goal. Oh, miles away from the left goal post. And that's how the only opportunity that has been there in the last 30 minutes from the perspective of the away team has been snatched. Let's see what's going to be the call coming in from the side of HSR. I don't see the entire balance in the minds of the yeah. you know players getting changed. They're still on the towards the balance side, not letting any of the uh, you know center backs coming in and to support the strikers and of course some different defensive tactics where you know trying to be on the option that it might get played out but no one's nothing was selected oh. to be particular coming in from the side of Fozzy. He's gonna go for an outside and the ball position is gonna go toward the side of HSR. Trying to show some skill moves now inside the penalty box Lovely. area. Gets on towards the center and there you go. It's none other than Griezmann with the first goal coming in from the side of HSR at the second half. Now that is going to break some serious ice first because half. now the first goal is already here coming in from the individual and he was struggling from the get-go but of course even before the first half could go down he has made sure that he shows his sign he shows his presence in the game and that's a good thing yeah but i'm looking forward to see if they're going to go far if they're going to get another goal but it does feel like they're falling the ball position is going to remain in the favor of fauzi and he's going to maintain that pressure 2-1 and with that the first half is over now the next 45 minutes are going to be very very crucial they go into the team management some substitutes are going to come the kung fu could be a good choice kamawinga again that's what really matters i mean which particular players you are going to bring in well the home team is already ready let's talk about the away team let's see if uh, they're going to come up with a lot of substitutions or not the kung fu is there with some good stats we might actually get to see rabi also getting substituted 
So yeah, patiently waiting to see how the game gets resumed. And we are back with the action. 7 minute marker, 24 minute marker. That's where home team Fauzi was able to secure. And at 40 minute marker, we got yeah. to see another goal coming in, which kind of gave the opening for the other lad. Mm, definitely. But I feel like in the second half, a comeback is definitely coming in from the side of HSR. A risky attempt to get the ball position. The player almost fell off, but no foul being called out from the referee. And nonetheless, it's going to be Fuzzy back in with the ball position on towards Mbappe. Trying to find the ear to pass towards the side of Dembele. Of course, on the strikers and inside the penalty box here again. Goes Amazing. for a finesse and through the goalkeeper. A second goal coming in from the side of Dembele. Third one for the team at the 58, 50, uh, 50, uh, 52 minute of in the game, in, inside the game. And the scoreline is going to be 3 1. Fuzzy is making sure that he gets that pressure right. And for now, the whole striking, the whole attacking formation is going to get broken away as the ball goes in the midfields where the players are trying to avail it. Mbappe could actually go for a good pass, but the tackle was good enough. That was Griezmann who did a wonder in that tackle scenario. Headers being delivered and now it's going to be Shuameni. Passes to Rabio. Rabio looking forward to pass to Nakunku. Nakunku straight up trying to attempt for a goal. Although this uh, particular shot was not that on point when it comes to the goal post, but still. He is making sure that the pressure is right there. Well, there will be a throw-in with this. And Kuman to Rabio, Rabio to one second back Kuman. Kuman is going to pass it away to Mbappe. And he clears away in the left wing. But who is going to take the sprint? Uh, no, the sprint is not going to come anymore. Klaus passes back to Hernandez. Uh, yeah, I can clearly see that there are a lot of certain changes coming in. I am not able to see Kamavinga. I am not able to see Theo. Because those lads are already substituted. So it's pretty interesting how the team has been built. But this could have been the potential fourth goal. Unfortunately, it's going to be a corner. It's going to be a corner coming in for the side of Fozzi. It was the side of Coman trying to use a defender to lay down some tracks. And the entire build up coming in for the attack. But it's going to be a deception coming in from the side of HSR. And the, that's going to be the game of you know who gets the on point receptions to get away with the ball, trying to find an opening and then put away inside the back of the net. A good cross coming in, but it's going to be interception yet again from the side of HSR. Mm. Good shots on, but it's going to be an out for a corner at the 71 minute. Again, some substitutes finally. are being done. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, finally, I get to see Devi coming to the picture because he's a very good left finger. But then again, if you don't really use those potential players, the value is not going to come. Kalamani is going to get substituted. Dia becomes in place of Kuman. So a lot of substitutes are already there. Kamavinga is also here. So I'm absolutely happy with the play that both the teams are trying to come up with. Fozzi against HXR. It's Fozzi who is winning right now. Might be a possible fourth goal coming in. Oh my god. Definitely some rough tackles are going to come. Slide tackles are going to be there. Which breaks away the whole scenario of uh, Mbappe going in and securing that fourth goal for the team. But the ball position is still, is still right over there. Klaus looking forward to pass it over to Griezmann. Griezmann back passes over to other individuals. But there is going to be an interception coming in. Also from the opposition. HXR is currently holding the ball position. And there could be a possible second goal coming in. Oh my god. But this will be a corner. A lovely attempt indeed. Although the goalkeeper Magnan was more than ready. Goalkeeper Magnan was more than ready. But out for a corner yet again for... Uh, favoring the side of his Cesar, he has the ball Ooh. position. Sometimes around it can get away with it, but no. It's going to be a good interception yet again coming in from the side of uh, none other than Fuzzy. But HSR more than ready this time around. But he has to take a note of the timers running out already on towards the 84 minutes. Final few minutes inside the game. In, uh, in, in the game, I, I, even mm -hmm. if you talk about the RL minutes, I guess there's only been the, uh, the case of one minute. Uh, combined within the 30 40 seconds, we've had the stoppage time as well in the Ireland. So, yes, there's not much time left for all of the equalizer goals to come in for the side of HSR. And still, uh, we do see the, the maximum percentage of ball position being on toward the side of Fozzie. It's still really hard on how HSR can make a comeback or not. And the best part is, not it's just, just not, not the attacking formation that is working out for Fozzie. Even his defenses are very, very good. We talk about here, Klaus is there. We have another individual also coming into the picture like Hernandez. And that's how another corner will be coming in. Remember, it's the extra time that we are talking about. And this lad, HXR, has to get two goals to equalize the scenario. Is he going to get the first one? Oh, indeed, oh, he is going oh. to get it. 
but with that is the score line which is 2 to 3 but unfortunately is a time crunch that is going to come unfortunate but yeah is a reality that Fozzie is going to bag it out last minute goal that came through from HXR shows that he had the potential unfortunately he missed and that's how Fozzie is going to take that advantage in his favor Fozzie all through the game like throughout the start till the end Fozzie looked like a little bit in control he knew what he was doing his passes were looking cleaner and also if you see that the instruction for the team was pretty clear and also in the break uh, like in the 45 minute marker after the first half went down we got to see a lot of substitutes also coming in from Fozzie so he was ready to like completely uh, remove the effect of fatigue coming in onto the players also made sure that the best players of his team are going to come into the picture yes in the later part even we got to see that HXR was also substituting Kamavinga came into the picture we got to see DAB coming in Kalamani getting substituted but all these things were done at somewhere around 78 minute marker where Kind of like 80% of the match was already out of his hands. So the rest remaining 20%, he tries to outmaneuver his opponent and was able to get a 90-minute marker goal. But that just not is sufficient because if you are there with even a lack of a single goal, you are still going to lose. And that's how we were able to see that uh, HXR is going to lose this one and Fozzie backs it out. Well, before we see what happens in the second leg, I believe we are going to take a short break and after that we'll be back to see how the action gets started from there. Check one, two.
everything that you thought you knew I do things better, you know I do The rhythm I have can't escape it Baby, don't fight it, embrace it De la cabeza lo que El ritmo te mueve otra vez Suena el tambor, así es mejor Deja esa timidez Don't fight it, just do it You like me cause I move it Everything you want gonna come full swing I just need you to do one thing Muevelo
Forget everything that you thought you knew. I do things better, you know I do. The rhythm I have can escape it. Baby, don't fight it, embrace it. De la cabeza a los pies. El ritmo te mueve otra vez. Suena el tambor, así es mejor. Deja esa timidez. Don't fight it, just do it. You like me, cause I move it. Everything you want, gonna come full swing. I just need you to do one thing. Muevelo. Feeling the euphoria. Y el ritmo sigue subiendo. Ya tú sabes lo que estoy haciendo. Sigue la fiesta, sigue el tiempo. Y yo te doy lo que sigue pidiendo. Don't fight it, just do it. You like me, cause I move it. Everything you want, gonna come full swing. I just need you to do one thing. Muévelo.
Forget everything that you thought you knew. I do things better, you know I do. The rhythm I have can't escape it. Baby, don't fight it, embrace it. De la cabeza a los pies. El ritmo te mueve otra vez. Suena el tambor, así es mejor. Deja esa timidez. Don't fight it, just do it. You love me, cause I move it. Everything you want, gonna come full swing. I just need you to do one thing. What the law? Feeling the euphoria. Y el ritmo sigue subiendo. Ya tú sabes lo que estoy haciendo. Sigue la fiesta, sigue el tiempo. Y yo te doy lo que sigue pidiendo. Don't fight it, just do it. You like me, cause I move it. Everything you want, gonna come full swing. I just need you to do one thing. Muévelo.
Nichols came back with the second match of Quarterly. And of course, the single elimination rounds apply. Raider, what do you think? What's going to be the outcome for this matchup? So definitely it's going to be the play I mean, where I do believe yeah. uh, sometimes around uh, you, DC, you do see different kind of formations getting in play. And yes, switching up to the default formation, I do see some strikers going on towards the side of mid no. midfield section. So I do feel that it's going to be that one formation where there's only one single striker playing on towards the forward attack. On towards the side of Skimzy, I believe, who's playing with the away kit, trying to go for a cross. Being on to a very edge that can lead towards... Being an outside, but for now, a very good control on the ball. Hmm. We'll be going out for a corner kick instead. Instead. Well, honestly, the attempts look good. Uh, and at the same point, I would like to tell you that uh, Quizzy is going to be there right now, trying to get his best. And eventually, if you talk about the lead, it's not yet here. Ten good minutes have already been passed, and it does feel like that we are going to see a lot of ups and downs along the way. Yeah. Quizzy from the corner is trying to establish a lot of ball position. It's just not going to be easy. Look at those clean passes that are coming in now. Winnie Junior moving up front. This could be a possible goal. And look at that. With the flick of an ankle. And it's stiff push. And with that, yes, we will get to see a finish being delivered. First goal already in the favor of the team. Let's see what's going to be the outcome coming in from the side of Kweezy. I do believe uh, he does have a chance to uh, go for an equalizer. Kind of like in a rapid fire mode, we, he can actually get the third goal of the entire game on towards his side as well. But for now, we can see there's going to be a lot of confusion going on with those passes being on towards the side of the wing area of the pitch coming in from Sarah Kweezy. Yeah. He's unable to find a really a good through ball on towards the striker's end. But for now, it's going to be Kimzi on the ball position yet again inside the penalty box here, trying to find the striker's end. This can go surely on towards the back of the net. A little mm. bit slided away on towards Queasy this time around. And Kimzy losing a golden opportunity to put the ball towards the back of the net. But for now, again, it's going to be those random, random interceptions that are coming on towards the side of Queasy. And he's being very lucky with it, if you ask me. Lucky, but at the same point, unlucky as well. Because he has already uh, faced a goal coming in from the opponent. But this, yeah. this could be the equalizing one. Oh, no, no, no. Interception comes in. It's Mendy who passes, who possibly is going to go for a back pass. That could be a good approach, but it's going to be a throw-in. And it's a dangerous place where the throw-in is. They're very close to the outer D, so it can actually put a lot of pressure onto that individual. Kavahal passes it back to Kavahal. So we have to see what happens next. Chouamini, back to Kavahal. Kavahal looking forward to once again pass it all the way. Valvade is actually a very good uh, player at this point and he can easily go with a goal. But Winnie Junior is the one which is going to get possibly the first one. And there goes the equalizing hand from Queasy as well. Both the home team and the state team have got one for each. And it does feel like that we are off to another beautiful close cutthroat matchup. Just like the previous one. Look at the replay. The way Winnie Junior was able to keep the ball position to himself with the flick of an ankle. And then eventually the finish shot. What a lovely way to secure the first goal for the team. Yeah, definitely, let's see what's going to be the outcome for the the third goal for the, uh, the entire game for the squeezy facing on the side of Kimzi. The equalizer, equalizer definitely coming in from the side of uh, Kimzi at this time around. But yes, we do see that the competition is definitely on towards the head-to-head -to -head part for these both individuals. Because on the last game, we did saw an early advantage being played on uh, coming in for the side of uh, Fozzy. If we talk about the first matchup for the entire broadcast. But for now... Yes, we do see, again, some random interceptions coming in. But this time around, Kweezy has not been lucky. He's been very on towards the ball control to get away oh, with a third goal. Lovely. And there you go. Second third one. goal of the game. Like, oh, yeah. of the game. Second for, for the Kweezy. Yeah, yeah, true. I go with you, bro. I go Definitely. With you. I mean, uh, we just have to count around Bullet Bullet because I do think that we are going to see a few more goals coming in from Kweezy. The way he's right now possessing the ball, right now gaming up with those opportunities. Vinikas Jr. again goes in back, but this time... Misses and that's a big opportunity that could have been in his favor, but unfortunately, that's not the case. But anyway, guys, it happens. You can see with the home team is trying to get the best at this point. I'm looking forward to see how far he's gonna go. Queasy definitely has got the lead, so he's just making sure that the lead goes in in his favor till the end. 
and that's what really matters at this point if you have the lead if you have that momentum if you are able to put the pressure that's all good in back but eventually the back passes are something that Kim Z is trying to explore at, a lot at this point Mendy passes is over but the ball position goes in the favor of Weezy this time and uh, it's Rodrigo back to Kawahal. Kawahal looking forward to pass it to Valvade possibly. Yeah, Valvade get, uh, getting the ball position. He can actually go for Manikas Jr. That can be a goal approach. Assist should be there, but no. Unfortunately, the interception will be coming in. Thought for a second that maybe there will be a third goal coming in from the perspective of Kuizi, but that came through. Let's see what happens next. Let's see what's happened next. But if you ask me, I, feel, I I completely agree with the part where you said, you know, we have to, you know, keep counting the goals coming in for this matchup. There's, of course, going to be a few more coming in from the side of Kuizi and the same yeah. comes in for the vice versa for the side of Kings. They're going to uh, see a few more goals coming in from both sides. Kuizi again has an opening right there. The striker is more than ready on towards being on the face of the goalkeeper. All he had to do is get on towards the smart and the sharp cross tactic. But this time around, mm -hmm. it's going to be Kimzy. Be ready up with the defenders, take the ball position on towards his side and going in for a true counter attack. But before he proceed, uh, proceeds away, it's going to go for the half time, as you hear, as you can hear the half time whistle. Yeah, I mean, this is the breather. This is the moment where both the lads can easily discuss uh, and figure out what they have to do, to be honest. Because it's the one we even showed down, Kimzy and Kweezy, both of them are trying to like make sure that they get the best out of it. And Kweezy currently has got the lead. The management is going to be the perspective where we might actually get to see some substitutes coming into the picture. Kamawenga, okay. That's that's interesting. I mean, uh, to be honest, the players are saving the best for the last. And Kamawenga coming up on the right wing as a defender, it can easily benefit you a lot. And with that, the match is going to get resumed. That was the only substitute that had to come. And with that, I truly believe maybe there is going to be a big pace coming in from Kim Z's perspective because Squeezy is there with the lead. But that lead is not that big of a deal because there is just a lead of one good goal. And you have 44 minutes or so in your favor, which can easily bring in the best. But replacing Kabahal, I kind of doubt that choice. But let's see how Kweezy is going to play along with it. How Kimzi is going to play along with it, I mean. Let's see what's going to be the play coming in for these both individuals. I do feel that Kimzi uh, can definitely go for that really defensive tactic and the defensive on ground approach to just maintain the overall lead on towards his side. But on the same side, Kweezy, I believe. Would not be, you know, on a lookout. Would not, you know, miss a chance to get on towards some more goals on towards this side. Also, to possibly take a one Ooh. more goal lead. But for now, sh shots were on. But it was way too obvious, way too easy for the goalkeeper to keep it in a secure away. And not even like defenders are more than ready to not let it go for a, out for a corner kick. Again, this can be another golden opportunity. Got good cross on oh, coming lovely. in from the side of the corner. But it will be deflected away in a huge style. Kweezy now trying his level best. Yeah. This can be a game changing moment. Oh, oh goalkeeper rewards oh, and getting game. tricked Lovely. away. And there you go 3 1. Boy, oh boy. And all. And it's an hat trick for goals. Winnie. Yes, Vincent Jr. All the goals coming in from Sarah Vincent Jr. Amazing play, amazing play from Vinicius Jr. What a way to establish that control and. It's all about those assists, it's all about those clean passes that are coming through. Maybe possibly a second goal will be coming in, but no, Kimzi gets denied. And that's the beauty. But once again, there is another attacking formation, but again, the denial will be coming in. Modric yeah. is looking forward to go for a left-wing pass, but he might actually go for the back passes or maybe for the midfields. Oh, he's going to clear the wing. Goes in straight for the right wing, where Balbade is going to right over there, be patient enough. Now the pass goes in towards Kamawinga, and that's why everybody was waiting for the substitute. Kamawinga passes is over and they could have been a potential goal, but no! Vinicius Jr. unfortunately deflected it away. Not just that, we are going to see how the next play is going to get built from the perspective of Kimzi. Because it's a good lead now. It's it's a lead of two good goals, which is again going to put a lot of pressure. And look at the confidence that Kweezy is boasting of at this point. He is going for those shots from like 100 yards away. So that's a big commitment coming in. But then again, when you have that lead, when you know that you have a mental pressure already appointed onto the opponent, you can do these things. But the reflection comes in. Winnie Jr. from the opponent's perspective. Oh, oh my god, what a lovely finish shot coming into the picture. Two to three. And there goes the lead. The lead is there, my friend, and of course, it's going to be really, really hard for the side of Kimzi to you know, maintain that one. Oh, what just happened? The jazz just happened. We were just taking a look at the replay and the action wasn't you know, coming, coming along the way. But there you go. As Raider spoke, just, just right here. 
that's Kamavinga for you. On towards the side of Kimzi is going to be the scoreline of 4-2. Substituting the right player at the right time, it is going to definitely pay you off. And Kamavinga coming into the picture, picking up some good pace. Uh, he's a very good defender, but at the same point, if you let him do the job, he's also going to go for some good punish shot. But this time, the ball is going to get cleared away. The ball position is still there in the favour of uh, Puizzi's uh, team because... Uh, to be honest, the ball position looks good. The passes are a little bit more cleaner and they know what they are trying to do. But at the same point, if you see Kimzi, his play style is a little bit more hasty. He is making some mistakes and those mistakes are in turn becoming a blunder where we get to see the lead as well. 4-2 is the score line. And now we have Nikesunia once again on the move. And he might actually possibly get one, but Kothwa is going to just deflect this attempt. And now the ball is in midfields where once again the position goes in the favour of one and only Kimzi's per players. On towards the side of Queezy, passing with the ball towards the other corner. It's going to be none other than the side of uh, uh, Queezy trying to get on towards the ball position. You know, sort of fact that I might still be in the lead, but still very, very much in danger. Because we are seeing those back to back goals. You know, your prediction came along, yeah. man, that you, that you know, said we have to count a few more goals. But I do feel that, yes, with in real time, two minutes left, if you ask me, around two minutes left. Look at the number of passes yeah. over there on, on towards the left corner. 102 coming in from the side of Kuizi, 104 coming in from the side of Kimzi. So, I feel like, yes, there are some more goals coming in. Maybe the scoreline would be looking like a 6-3 or 6-4 if you ask me. I think it is going to be like somewhere around 5-3 maximum because, as you can see, like a lot of defensive stance has been taken by Kimzi at this point. Kimzi knows that he does not have got the lead and he knows that he just do not want to uh, like give an open spot to the other guy to Queezy so that he can score up but there might be one of those goals which are going to get squeezed up from Queezy's perspective so that's why I said like 5-3 to three is going to be the maximum score line but I'm looking forward to see if that is going to be the case or not or we're going to stop at just 4-2 there goes a good shot right on the right wing Kamawinga waiting patiently over there passes back to his teammates and from there Alaba is going to come Vini Junia, Vini Junia, fifth goal no that's not the case still the position is there in the favour of team Queezy yeah, Madrid as a team definitely has got some wonderful players to play along with. 84 minute marker, six more minutes to go along with one or two minutes of extra time. That's what we are waiting for at this moment. Uh, the big shot from the left wing, but unfortunately, oh, I thought for a moment that this ball is going to get cleared oh, oh. away, but that's not the case. No, no, no fouls will be coming in. Don't worry, it's a big, big <laughs> tackle coming in, no doubt. That uh, for a moment we were like, no, the fouls will be coming in. And if the foul was there, if the free kick would have been there. Possibility of no, that fifth goal would have been improved a lot. But Kamavinga on the right wing is definitely making a lot of pressure at this point on Kim Z. Potentially a goal coming in. Let's see if that's a possibility. Oh no, the tackle is again here. The tackle can be the game change, game changer yet again. Counter attack coming in from the side of Kim Z. But no. It's going to be a foul for Vincent Jr. Was that a yellow card? I guess it was. Yeah. And yes, it is the yellow card towards the South star. Towards the South player for the day. And possibly the man of the match, who is away with you know f uh, three goals coming in for Kimzi, two goals coming in from the side of Queezy, more than you know accountable for the side of you know being the man of the match for this entire game. Inside, and it's done. Four to two is the scoreline. Queezy is going to squeeze it away. A victory coming in for that lad. Yeah. What a play, to be honest, from the get go. Initially, yes, we got to see Kimzi scoring the first one. And it was like one of those moments where, for a moment, everybody was like, maybe Kimzi is going to get the upper hand. Because whenever you get the initial opening, it's kind of breaking the ice. It's kind of getting the zest out of that particular game and making sure that from the get-go, you have the pressure on your opponent. But it's just not sufficient because instantly after that, we got to see three or four, three goals back-to-back -back coming in from Monika Jr. And after that, the fourth goal came from Kamawinga's perspective as well. A good substitute and that's why I would love to once again add on that. Pitching in the right player at the right moment is going to be very, very important. So, a good play coming in from Queezy. I'm looking forward to see how the next few stages are going to go for that lad. But, yeah, for now, this particular game was definitely in his favour. And it was, to be honest, a one-sided one. Yeah, definitely. But, I, I, but I, I, love, I love to see the fact that there were so many goals coming in from both sides. It was not that one-sided, if you ask me. That, you know, one guy is scoring back-to-back 6-0 goals. Another guy is just not able to even get the ball position coming on towards his end. It was, if you if you ask me, it was a decent balanced game where both of the sides were very much skilled. Both of the sides knew what they are doing. Both of the sides knew what kind of formation they got to play. What kind of set piece static that can, that can uh, lay around the team as well. 
to you know let your defenders yep. switch up to the midfielders midfielders support defending and the attacking both and of course you let the strikers do your job of getting the ball position on towards the control going for those one touch passes and scoring the goal but also if you ask me that yellow card for the side of you know Vincent Junior was kind of unfortunate but for now of course we'll discuss on that on towards the later part let's take a short break and we'll be coming right back after it
So guys, after that quick shock break, yes, we are once again back at the Ramadan Royal, which is presented by True Gamers and powered by Zota Gaming. Our casting partner is Team the Esports Club, and we are, and already see a very good contestant going in. Where France have already secured the first goal. Abdul Abasha versus Abdul Smile is going to be the particular matchup that we are going to talk about. Abdul Abasha has already secured the first goal, which is good. Has got the France and one of the strongest team that you can really have. And on the other corner, in order to Compensate in order to retaliate. We have Barcelona, Barca coming in from Abdul Ismail. Let's see what's gonna be the play, but for now it's gonna be in another than the side of I guess Basha, who is playing with the home kit, on towards playing in as Barcelona and Ismail playing as France. Correct me if I'm wrong, Raider. But for now, another yeah. good approach coming in, puts in the back of the net. Oh, Mbappe wow, at the 18th minute won't lose a single single chance. To outshine his opponent, and there you go. 2 0 in the first 20 minutes. A good scoreline, to be honest. Like at 18 minute marker and 5 minute marker, we got to see two bombers coming in from Abdullah Basha. It's absolutely amazing the way this lad is playing. Yeah, looks a little bit more composed, knows what he's doing. The passes look cleaner, clears away from the left wing to the right wing. Oh, my bad, it is the left wing the way the play is actually happening at this point. Griezmann has got the ball position, moving up forward. Hernandez is waiting patiently for the right pass. Let's see if he's going to get it. It was Hernandez from there. Now it all trickles down to Mbappe. Kuman, Kuman possibly gets intercepted, and that's exactly what happens. It's three to Dijong, Dijong to Lewandowski. A very good striker, to be honest. I will be able to get the job done or not? That's something I'm looking forward to. Felix, unfortunately, the sprint didn't came through, and Saliba is going to completely take the ball position, clear it away to the right wing, and that's how once again a good attacking formation that could have been a possible good attacking formation is now in vain. But Griezmann, he's making sure that France gets the best value out of it, and Mbappe will he secure? No, he's going to pass it away, and Abdullah Basha will get it done this time by the foots of Kuman. A really good approach coming in again from none other than the side of his med is able to uh, for coming in from uh, the side of Abdullah is able to put down back to back wonders on towards the back of the opponent nets and three zero is the score in the first half as well. I wasn't expecting a three zero score in the first half. You honestly asked me, did I? I did expect a three two three mm -hmm. one even if you ask me, but no goals coming in from the side of his med is something what is worrying me. What's going to be the outcome? But when we see the end of the final half. Mm, that was a hefty attempt. That was a good one. Straight up on the left crossbar. It gets deflected, but still the ball position is right there in the favor of Abdullah Basha. Team France might be able to get their fourth one, but no, they get cleared away. Lewandowski right there in the midfield clears it away to the right wing. But the header will be coming in. Ball position is still there in the foots of Abdullah Basha. Team France is getting it done. They have got a 3 0 lead and a good sliding tackle. Absolutely amazing the way Abdullah Basha is completely taking up the pace and making sure that he is the one who is dictating the whole game. Oh my god, look at those clean paces and Mbappe moving it forward. Possibly an easy goal coming in and there you go. The finish shot is going to be right there precise on the left crossbar. And with that, they get their fourth one. And the first half is over. And it was a banger one to be honest. Abdullah Basha has already got a big lead and there is no changes in play. There is no changes in team. There is no such formation or uh, instruction changes coming to the picture players are going to switch up and perform make sure to get many more goals so i can clearly see at this point this is for sure going to be one of those one-sided matches uh kind of uh, you know uh, disappointing to see the fact that you know uh, we are not able to see any kind of uh, strengthened approach any kind of strong approach coming in from the side of barcelona i was going to be under the inside of a smell so yeah silence me a little bit as an uh, 2018-2019 Barca. Oh, you changed your uh, favorite team by the years, huh? I mean, uh, yeah, the players get changed. Your favorite clubs also get changed. <laughs> Welcome to football. <laughs> I don't know that the players are going to get changed, but there is something like emblem, the team, the feel of that particular team. But anyway, guys, let's dive back into the game. And possibly another goal coming in? No. For now, interceptions will work out. Abdullah Basha making sure that the ball position is right there with him. Saliba passing towards Klaus. Another interesting choice of a player because we could see Theo, we could see players like Kamavinga on that position. But no, this was a good tackle coming in for sure. The ball has been cleared away. 60 minutes have passed. That means more than 30 minutes are left at this point. And 
the question is in 30 minutes is it going to be a score line of 4-4 because that can be the case but if you see the most fatigued players are actually coming in from Barca's perspective yeah. no doubt of course Team France have also got some fatigued players but then again if you see the passes if you see the mistakes that are being done it is definitely going to be Barca which is making those mistakes and as such Hernandez is once again going to take the ball position make sure that the ball is going to get cleared away from the outer D and now it's in the midfields wanted to clear the wings but that is not going to help him out yeah definitely coming on toward the side of France here again it's going to be really important uh, and how they you know also maintain this you know for a fact that you know, you know there's a saying attacking is the best defense but still I believe that somewhere around Ismail can find a chance to make up and bounce back inside this game but oh that was Really, really booted. Huge mistake coming in from the side of Smile, and uh, I'm kind of out of words right now. 5 0 coming in from the side of Abdullah Basha. This is way too overpowered. Yeah, I mean, that's a significant lead. Mm -hmm. Oh, headers, headers, and many more headers. Let's see if these headers are going to find another value. Another goal will be coming in or not. A possibly a goal, but no. It was Felix who clears it away. And currently, we will get to see Abdullah Bashak once again clearing the wings. And Andres passes back to Kunde. Kunde back passes to Kaliba. Now, from there, we have Kamavinga in the midfields. But unfortunately, the ball position is not going to remain for a longer period of time. But yeah, there goes the chase once again. Look at the pass accuracy. I mean, that's absolutely amazing. 83% pass accuracy is going to be there. And 103 passes are already there from Team France. And just 74 passes along with 77% of uh, pass accuracy for Abdul Ismail. Yeah, he is good with the passes. Kind of good. I have to say, like, he's above average. But in order to finish off a game, you have to have those goals. You have to have that lead in your favor. And currently, it does feel like that all the way till the 90-minute marker, we are going to see possibly a 5 or 6-0. Yeah, man, I also believe that we might see a 5-0 coming in. I feel like there will be no goal score uh, coming in from the service man. There's going to be a foul coming in from one of these particular France players. Of course, a free kick given away towards the side of Barcelona. But... Uh, uh, what outcome of this free kick? Nothing, if you ask me. Not able to get that onto that mm -hmm. counter attack advantage. Not able to get onto that one touch, uh, you know, build up game that we, you know, often see from these FIFA players. But I am really, really hoping to see another goal. And Whoa, yes, it is. Mbappe at the 87th minute is not going to let his team down. Boy, oh boy. I mean, the team was already way too up with a 5 0, and then Mbappe decides to go with another one. That's a good scoreline. 6-0. Absolutely lovely the way this lad is playing. All he has to do is just make sure that not even a single goal comes in because that, my friend, is going to be a statement for the other guys who are patiently waiting for their own term to play in this Ramadan Royal, which is powered by, of course, one and only sort of gaming and presented by True Gamers. Looking forward to see what happens next. Get to see a lot of interesting shifts in the momentum. Oh, there you go. The ball gets cleared away. And also with that, the final whistle is going to go off. And the winner is Abdullah Basha. The winner is going to be Team France. Abdullah Basha makes sure that he is going to get this particular matchup in his favour. Absolutely amazing play coming into the scenario. I am looking forward to see how Abdullah Basha is going to play in the next few stages because the kind of domination and the kind of sheer uh, domination and also sheer calibre that this lad has already showcased against Abdullah Abdul Smile was absolutely amazing. It's all about how he's going to play in the next few games. Because that's where the stakes will be even more higher. That's where you will be even more closer to the goal. And that is to be in the grand finale. That is to win the grand finale. Yeah, definitely. When Abdullah Basha was just, if you ask me, way too overpowered for the, his opponent. Way too skilled on how he was able to maintain those positions. How he was able to just not let the uh, his opponent even get the, you know, the crucial ball position. The crucial interception that is really, really much right. needed. When you are playing in a game like this. Yeah, I mean the ball position, the clean passes, the strategies and also the skill set moves. Yeah. Along with the decision to make sure that your most perfect player yeah. have to be substituted. You have to bring in the new guys. That didn't came through. And also if you see that uh, when the 45 minute marker went down, when the first half was over. In that particular leg, yeah. I thought maybe there are going to be certain changes in the instruction. Maybe the team is going to be a little bit more attacking this time. Because there was already a buffer of good force goals. 4-0 was the score line and after that we got to see the 5th one and the 6th one at 87 minute marker. It was all the way from the get-go from the start of the game till the end of the game. Mbappe, Mbappe. For a brief moment we got to see even Coman pitching in and getting the 3rd goal and after that it was again all in for the Mbappe guy. The star 
who has got the formation, who has got the stats in his favor, was definitely effective in the hands of Abdullah Basha. But for now, we are going to take a short break before we begin with the next one.
Hey everyone, welcome back to the True Gamers Presents Ramadan Raya, Power Boys Hotel Game with our broadcast partner, the Esports Club. Yes, a really, really one-sided affair in the previous game, Raider. I was expecting yeah. some coming in from the side of Smell was playing in from the club Barcelona, but yeah, that was it. My 7-0 was an unexpected, if you ask me. I mean, that was a total all-out brawl, to be honest, in that particular matchup. The way Abdullah Basha played, the way he was able to make sure that he's going to cherish the Team France because, again, Team France is one of the best teams that you can really get in this virtual EFC team. Uh, so, in terms of that, I do believe Abdullah Basha was a little bit more experienced. He knew what he was doing. His passes, as I have said, in number of times that he passes were very, very clean. He was very effective with it. And uh, yeah. to be honest, from the get-go till the end, Abdul Ismail was basically making sure that he is just picking up the pace. But he wasn't able to get mm-hmm. it right in his favor. But right now, let's talk about the next two particular players that are going to come for the next game, for the next lag. And it is going to be post face kill against Fozzy. If I'm not wrong, we have already seen Fozzy in the first game. So I'm looking forward to see how far Fozzy is going to go in this particular scenario. Because it is probably the next stage that we are going to talk about. And Ghost face kill has also some good potential that's why he's here at this particular stage but let's see if Fozzy is going to maintain that kind of winning streak that he was able to get in the first game or is he going to get taken on in this particular matchup that's what really matters let's see man if you ask me uh, if you if, if you say who's gonna be the dominating side who's gonna be on toward the struggling side mm-hmm. I might change my opinion on this one I do feel that Fozzy will get challenged on through and back coming in from the side of Ghost Face because of course you know momentum play can be there but you know I, I believe this is a round number three or round number four game coming in for these individuals so I I, I might pick Ghost Face Kill who might be the guy who can outshine the side of Fozzy. Yeah let's always go for the new one because we want to see what kind of potential that lad has got in his favor. Currently if you talk about the teams and clubs respectively it's going to be France alongside we have the Real Madrid also coming to the picture. Not even a single goal yet. It's just three minutes that have passed. So, a lot of changes could be coming in. And also, if we talk about Team France, we have pretty interesting choices. And uh, here, once again, is not there. Dembele is going to be there. Dembele moving forward. Passes back to Mbappe. Possibly the first oh, goal. Lovely. And there goes the first goal. Coming right from the favour of Fozzy. And he gets the first one in his favour. See, the thing is, Ghost Face Kill could have been the dominating force in this game if he could have gone for the same team. I currently doubt that Real Madrid is going to give him the right upper hand in this particular s- scenario. So, for me, I personally believe this could be again Fozzie's game. Yeah. My prediction can go really, really wrong if Fozzie steps up onto another notch up. But for now, it's going to be a player called up foul if he takes down towards that part. But no, we do see Coach Face Kill going in for the free run. As we can see, Fozzie is able to do those clear-cut passes so really well in front of Ghost. And he's he's just being a Ghost at this point of time. He's, he's, he's not being uh, Another one being given away, no interceptions. Oh. But good shots on. Goalkeeper from the side of Ghost's face will be able to put out for Con. There goes the shot. Is going to make sure to come up with another attacking formation. And this time he's not going to miss. We have Nikunku. Initially, it was Zimbabwe at 6-minute marker and now just after 7 more minutes, Nikunku coming up with another interesting goal. Fozzie already with the big lead. It's 2-0. And in games like this, 2-0 is definitely a significant lead coming in. And I'm looking forward to see how far the situation goes on. Kotwa, the goalkeeper from Real Madrid, manages to keep the ball position. But let's have a look in the replay. The way the pass came through in the uh, outer D and after that, how Nikunku was able to convert that assist with a beautiful finish shot. That's what really matters, how you are able to finish off the particular momentum or attacking streak. Mbappe once again has got the ball position, is looking forward to get some good passes to his teammates, but Ooh. he decides to go all in. This time is going to miss and that will be a big blunder for the team. This could have been a possible third goal if he would have passed it to her Kuman. But also Kuman was pretty much man-marked, so could have not done that easily. Now this time the pass goes in towards Nakunku. Nakunku once again attempted, but this time it's going to be a little bit more... Expected shot. That's why Kotoa was able to jump in and it was a slow one. So he was able to completely defect it. Oh, if that would have been a foul, it would have been a dreadful one. But that's not the case. Ball position is right there with Pauzy. Let's see potentially if another goal will be coming in. But no, that's not the case. Kotoa is going to go for a throw-in. For now, yes. I would say again, man, is the same story that we saw in the previous game uh, when Ismail was not able to get on towards the... You know, the, the, it was the slightest, you know, the capital part of the ball position. Even though it was the slightest bit. 
But for now, again, we see on the great run, it's going to be none other than the side of Ozzy going in for the third goal, maybe. But oh, a foul inside the penalty box. And the penalty has been given away. Third goal incoming, Raider. Oh, this could be a goal. And they, it is. He gets the third goal. Interesting. Mbappe, then Nukunku, and finally, once again, Mbappe coming in and stepping it up. With the penalty, this kind of disadvantage for Ghostface Kill, I truly believe now the pressure will be immense on Ghostface Kill. But remember, guys, 75 more minutes to go. So there might be some more ups and downs coming in. Not 75, but it's going to be 65 more minutes or 63, 64 minutes right now as we do see the timer is going down. I'm looking forward to see if there is going to be certain changes in play style or the attacking formation is going to work or not. Ghost Face Kill, possibly with the first attempt, but this time. Magnan was right there, intercepted it. Goes face kill with the corner. He is going to go for a lob pass because there is nobody for the short pass to really intercept. Oh, a bicycle shot. He was trying to utilize that, but unfortunately, it didn't pay it off. Unfortunately, it didn't pay it off. Wasn't on the same uh, right end of the corner. But far now, again, ball position is on towards the side of Fauzi. He's trying to outplay Ghost face skills yet again, going in for a really long shot on towards the wing area coming in from the wing area of the pitch on towards the very end corner wasn't possible goalkeeper will be able to you know take the ball control on towards his side very easily but again a good opening can be made on towards the through a defender will be more than ready to not let ghost face down this time but for now as you can see on the score uh, as you can see on the timer we are approaching the first half of the game and three zone in the first half i feel like it's going to be a very similar outcome what we saw from what we saw in the game of Abdullah facing up the side of Ismail. But as we can see that there are a lot of confident attempts coming in from Fozzy. He's not too scared of taking some good lob passes right there in the Ds because he knows he has got that lead. Even if he misses a lot, he is going to bag out another goal and that's how he's going to get the fourth one. This time it's Coman who gets the job done for the team of France or should I say the individual known as Fozzy. Goes for skill. Yet to open up, yet to get the first one. And I do believe it's going to remain yeah. same, especially for the first half. In the second half, when there will be substitutes, when there will be some different things, maybe things will be like a little bit more in control for Ghost Face Kill. But right now, Ghost Face Kill is just playing a survival game. He's like making sure that he just not give another opportunity to Fozzy. And if that another opportunity will be coming in, it will be dreadful for that guy. Lovely pass, lovely attempt. But eventually, even more better was the interception from Kotwa. The goalkeeper. For now, yes, it's going to be a really good opening coming in for the side of Real Madrid. No, you Is can't. It? No, you can't. Had to go inside the D, man. Had to go on towards side the box a little bit more. The defenders yeah. coming from behind were quite far away, if you ask me. Goes out for a corner. Corner could be kick being taken in a kind of an improper manner, if you ask me. Here again, goes face kill. Lose out the push position, ball position. Just like, you know, just like a random deck of cards, Ooh, he's just falling. He's just falling yet again, yet again, yet again, if you ask me, man. <laughs> a lot of sliding tackles are coming in, but in turn, they are just bringing in the yellow cards and also free kicks for these lads. Oh my God, Mbappe gets another one. Fifth goal already, and this is not even the end of the first half. First half will be getting ended uh, very soon, and there goes the... One minute of extra time. I do believe it is going to go down very soon. The final whistle will be getting blown for the yeah. first half. And yeah, that's the case. Now the break will be coming in. It's 5-0 again. And that too in these later stages. I never expected that this kind of uh, one-sided domination is going to be there. But Fozzy definitely looks very, very calm, composed. And also readily available for everything to really come up with. But I would like to once again add on that choosing the wrong club or wrong team can be one of those uh, markers where you can easily lose a lot of things because you don't have that stats, you don't have that coordination between the players and also if you talk about the formation, that is also going to matter a lot. So for uh, Ghost Face Kill, choosing Real Madrid could have been the wrong decision. Meanwhile, France going for the sixth at goal, possibly a good attempt will be coming in. Mbappe and he secures it. Was it Mbappe or Nukunku? It was Nukunku. It was Nukunku. Uh... I, I, I kind of have a uh, you know a little bit of uh, some other point towards the point where you said, you know, the team status matter. Of course, I definitely agree, Raider. But if you see Real Madrid statics, it's more than enough, if you ask me. The chemistry, the overall stats, the defense, the midfieldings. Even if you look at the strikers, man, they are way too good. They're not as good as uh, the strikers are on, on towards the side exactly of France. Of course, it is. As good as. But 
Real yeah. Madrid is more than enough. But yeah, there you go. Another yellow card coming in for the side of Real Madrid is going to be with Tao playing in as the uh, playing in as from the number three jersey. But for now, as we you know get started off with the second half, the score line is six zero, my friends, and uh, I, I believe there are some more goals coming in from the side of Aussie, if you ask me. Oh, of course. I mean, it's just a 54-55 minute marker, so potentially a lot of goals are going to come in the next 35 minutes. Maybe two more or three more. That can be the case. Although, as I said initially as well, even before the first half ended, that uh, Ghost, Face, Ghost Face Kill is basically fighting for the yeah. survival. He's just making sure that there are not a lot of rooms for the other guy, Fozzie, to secure a lot of goals. But Fozzie is like a wrecking ball at this point. He's just making sure that he gets the ball down. He's making sure that he gets yeah. the whole defensive perimeter out of the equation and he is going to get for the sixth one. Oh, he has already got the sixth one. He was waiting for the seventh, seventh one, but that one. didn't came through. Although it's going to be a corner. That's how the short passes will be coming in. Dembele looking forward to go for a pass, but interception will be coming in. And once again, a breather for a short breather, to be honest, for Ghost Fiscal, because once again, the uh, capitalization is right over there. Uh, players are already quite fatigued. I do believe the substitutes should come in. And if the substitutes are not going to be there, it is again in turn going to pressurize a lot on the players of Ghost Space Kill. Yeah, definitely, man, definitely. But yeah, some of these fun games are happening in between these midfielders, if you ask me. Uh, you know, Ghost Space Kill is trying to play around, but he's actually trying to find a gap on toward the defensive. And this can be that one header, but no. At the very nick of the time, was it was a corner? Yes, it goes off for a corner. Still a golden opportunity, if you ask me, man. But is that can be the player coming in, going in for the bicycle kick, but not getting connected on towards the right time. Another big opening coming in for the side of Frozzy. He's going all over the side of Mbappe. He's has more than 50% stamina left. I'm pretty sure he's going to go for a goal. But, oh. oh, it's going to be Kurtios to save up the ball for his team. But it's, it's, it's yeah, 6-0 I mean, already. Uh, I mean, uh, yeah. yeah, it's 6-0 already. So, Radar, uh, I know. I was expecting to see him, see him at least two goals from the side of Real Madrid, if you ask me, man. I mean, let's just hope. Let's just not lose the hope from Ghost Pascal. Maybe he's going to get those two goals for you, man. But uh, the way Fozzy is playing, the way Fozzy is all in in terms of his attacking formation, it does not feel yeah. he's going to give any opportunity, not even a single breather to the lad. And there goes, why are you attempting from that far away angle? Like, he could have easily gone for the inner D. Mbappe was right over there waiting for the pass. But eventually, that attempt is going to cause them that seventh goal. Mbappe once again moving in. Chouameni gets the pass. Chouameni possibly for a back pass, but Rabiot is going to be right over there. Kuman also waiting right opportunities are going to come. Mbappe once again back passes could be the right opportunities, could be the right decision for them. And that's exactly what they're trying to do. Uh oh, as we can see, Dembele is already injured. So he can be substituted pretty soon. I see what's going to be the decision coming in from the side of, you know, Fozzie. I feel like he's not going to substitute. He's just going to play with the guy, you know, 30 minutes are remaining inside the game. One minute and uh, 20 seconds, if I'm not wrong, to be precise. I, I could be, you know, approximately side, but yeah, around 1 minute and 30 seconds in real time is left for this particular game. Uh, in this point of time, is the comeback possible, if you ask me? Near to impossible, but uh, if he's able to get on to back-to-back, you know, four goals, it definitely loses out the confidence for the side of Fozzie. But with the amount of time left, as the, the timer is slipping away for the side of Ghost Face Skill, it's really hard to say, man. Lovely. Seventh one. Oh. Good lob pass, a uh, good shot, a finish shot, to be honest, coming into the picture. I actually wanted to see some short passes being delivered over there, some assists, and then finally the final strike onto the goal could have actually come. But uh, yeah. Mbappe was like, no, I'm going to like really be very precise with my shot. Because he got to see that the Kortwa goalkeeper, the goalkeeper was kind of overextending at that point. Mbappe possibly for another one. Oh, he misses, but eventually another beautiful left hook kick from Dembele. A very impressive eighth goal coming in. And this is the biggest goal line that we have got today, guys. It might stretch on to maybe even 10-0. 10-0, yeah. I mean, we are thinking the same thing, right? Inside the back of our heads. <laughs> it can be go, yeah. it can go 10-0. I feel like, yes, this is going to be the case coming in from the side of Fozzy. But for now, good pass on towards the wingers and coming in from the side of Goat Face. Come on, at least 
we can see one goal coming in from the side of Ghost. But for now, good interception yet again coming in from the side of Dembele. He's going all out for the attacking. Komar on the ball, going in for a swing. Lovely, and there man, you go, takes on the goalkeeper. And why you need to call your goalkeeper on towards the front end <laughs> when you're already at zero, man? Why? Really I mean, it's class, so man. sad to see that he's bringing his goalkeeper in front, not the defenders on the back. So that's where I believe uh, Ghost Fiskill has lost a lot of lot of opportunities where he could have easily defended. Because his defenders, look, look at this. Again, the defenders will be on the back end. And there is 10-0. Wow. So good to the predictions, guys. It's already 10-0 at 90 minute mark. Huh? <laughs> I don't think so that the 11th, will, 11th one will be coming in because we have two minutes of extra time. And in this moment, I think maybe Ghost Fiskill is just going to make sure that he is not going to give up the control. But oh, the control is already lost. The ship is going to sail. And we will get to see some more interesting picks coming in uh, throughout the way. But the final whistle has been thrown, I believe. Is it the final whistle? Yes, indeed it is. 10-0 coming in. A very big buffer. A very big lead. I was thinking that uh, maybe Abdullah Basha is the guy which was there in the previous game. That he is going to dominate throughout the way. But to my surprise, we have another champion. Or should I say potential champion. That is going to be Fauzi. That's yeah, a 10-0. And a very impressive play coming in at this point. I have to once again say... Passes was not that clean from the other lad, and also along with that, eventually if you talk about the first shot or making a good attacking formation, that's where they missed a lot of opportunities. Meanwhile, if you see Fozzy, his passes were clean. He was making a lot of attempts. He was not at all defensive. Every now and then, he was just trying to clear the ball away and making yeah. and running for the next particular attack. That's what his motto was. His motto was basically increase the number when it comes to the goalie formation. He was every now and then making sure that he goes for the attack. He was making sure that the pressure would be on their opponent, not on himself. So that was a good play coming in. That was the best thing that I was able to get uh, kind of insightful for me in the last 90 minutes in the game scenario. It was amazing. No substitutes, nothing as such coming into the picture. Although for a moment I got to see even the suggested substitutes that the game was suggesting that you should substitute this. That's where you know that you have done something wrong. The game is suggesting you to go for a substitute, man. Well, well, it's if you ask me, it's an it's a default feature. Of course, it, I get your point. But yeah, it's a it default is, feature. Yeah. When some of your players get fatigued out, especially uh, exactly. if you are uh, uh, you know putting up a lot of those sprint pressure on towards the midfield and cycles, the game automatically gives out a default feature. Hey, if you wanna just quickly swap uh, swap onto your one of your substitutes, you can press L2 and uh, press X to confirm if you're playing in with the dual sense controller. But for now, folks, we'll be taking a short little break and we'll be coming right back after for the next game.
that you thought you knew. I do things better, you know I do. The rhythm I have can escape it. Baby, don't fight it, embrace it. De la cabeza a los pies. El ritmo te mueve otra vez. Suena el tambor, así es mejor. Deja esa timidez. Don't fight it, just do it. You like me, cause I move it. Everything you want, gonna come full swing. I just need you to do one thing. Muevelo. Feeling the euphoria. Y el ritmo sigue subiendo. Ya tú sabes lo que estoy haciendo. Sigue la fiesta, sigue el tiempo. Y yo te doy lo que sigue pidiendo. Don't fight it, just do it. You like me, cause I move it. Everything you want, gonna come full swing. I just need you to do one thing. Muévelo.
Hey guys, welcome back to the True Gamers Presents Ramadan Royale, powered by Zota Gaming with our broadcast partner, the Esports Club. Oh, the game has been started and we might could have seen the first foul of the game in the first minute itself, but no, no uh, option being taken from the side of ADZ. And it's going to be the final match for the entire broadcast, folks. ADZ facing up the side of Islam. Dizzy goes in with Manchester City and Manchester City is the particular team that he has gone with and on the other corner Islam is actually going to go with France. Well, 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 there goes a free kick. This is going to be interesting to see how the delivery will be coming in, how the finish shot is going to get delivered. Uh, Mbappe could have actually secured the ball position but no, that's not going to be the case. Man City is going to clear the ball away. Now it's the midfields where the attraction is all about and uh, they're possibly trying to change the wings as well. Now from the right wing to the centre forward, Haaland wanted to actually scoop it away but the defenders were more than proactive. It was Hernandez, Kunde, and at the same point, Alaba is also going to be there along the way. Dembele looking forward to have the pass. Loss is going to be the one who is going to completely take the advantage. But what, what kind of miss that was? And for now, it's Dizzy who has got the ball position. Not even a single goal yet so far. And I do believe this one can be a little bit more close and cutthroat. Let's see, let's see. That's quite a risky prediction. If you ask me, it's the kind of you know, one-sided matches that we have seen uh, here at Ramadan Real, whether it be any game, if you ask me. A good old set-piece tactic to come in from the corner. This can be a goal, but oof! Misses by an inch, and it's going to be a goal kick coming in for the side of Islam. Feed a miss by inch or a mile, a miss is a miss. And for that reason, I have to say once again, Ismail came very close to having his opportunity, but unfortunately, that yeah. is not going to be the case. But I have seen that uh, Dizzy currently with the man sitting in his favor is definitely looking a little bit more attacking at this point because he is every now and then trying to go with those attempts. But Dembele this time yeah. from the right wing is trying to move and there is nobody to really come up with a pass for him. But he clears it away to the left wing and from there, the situation will change a bit. It's Kuman, but no, the interception will be coming in. And that's how Ederson, the goalkeeper of Man City, is going to clear the ball away. It's a throw-in where now currently Helen wanted to have the ball position, but he's going to get snatched away from that corner as well. Griezmann willing to pass back. Let's see if he's going to go for Kuman or Mbappe. He wanted to go for Mbappe, but instantly gets tackled as well. Yeah, let's see what's going to be the play coming in from the side of Islam. As uh, right now, Manchester City is on the attacking move, and there you go. It's going to be the first goal coming in from the side of Alan at the 28th minute. Eight Daisy scores the first one, takes the lead on coming in with the uh, coming in at the 28th minute. As I told you, folks, uh, Islam trying to uh, you know go for the equalizer play right now. But a good approach coming in from the side of ADZ. He did a chance, he went in for a low pass as well, which kind of failed on. But when he had the interception, when he had the build up going on his way, he didn't miss an opportunity that cool opportunity that has put him on the towards the leading side of the game. Yeah, have to take that lead, have to tag, uh, take that initial advantage in their favour. And with Man City already with the lead in the favour, Adizia, I believe, would love to once again go with a lot of attacks. And Halan passes it to us for the end. For the end, wanted to go for a back pass to Halan, but it didn't come through. And that's how Islam is currently having the ball position. He's moving forward. I would love to see if he's going to exchange some good shots or is he going to get tackled as well. Kuman, let's see what he's going to do. Mbappe, possibly an equaliser coming in. But no. It is not even going to be the case because it is an offside. Yeah. And we approach the final minutes of the first half of this last game for the broadcast, folks. Uh, uh, like I said, uh, Raider, it's really you know hard to say whether it's going to be that cutthroat, that head-to-head -head, uh, game between these two individuals or not. But if we if we want to take a prediction on towards being a one side, of course, we can take it very easily because most of the games for today has been very one side of favor where we saw a 7 0 into the favor of Abdullah, a 4 0 10 0 uh, defeat inside of Ghost Fair. Where if you talk about the first game itself for the day, most of the games have been very, very one sided where the other guy has just, you know, you know, not even let his opponent get a second chance. But for now, yeah. it's going to be a comeback goal coming in from the side of Islam at the 45th minute, right when the final whistle for the half uh, timer went out. Now, let's see what's going to be the action in the second half. I, I still feel that it's going to be a close one, to be honest. They might be a buffer of one or maximum two good goals between both the players. Uh, it could be in the favour of Islam, it could be in the favour of Dizzy, but I currently feel Dizzy is a little bit more capable looking at his attacking formation, especially in the first half. He was looking like a little bit more good. His passes were clean. He was 
ready with the tackles and also if you talk about the conversion Haaland was right there on point they have got the star player and of course in order to reverse the roles we have Mbappe coming in from Team France as well yeah. so he's again one of the best players that you can really have one of the best center forwards that you can really have in this particular game currently in EFC 24 the passes should be there otherwise the opportunity will go in vain the pass comes in oh no 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 the goal won't happen Mbappe with a good shot but eventually it is going to get deflected from Ederson's hand to a goal post and then again the ball position will be there now it's a throw in for Man City and they are moving in to get few more goals oh boy what uh -oh. a play coming in from both sides both of the sides are trying to get the interceptions on point. Both of the sides are trying to get the one-touch control on towards the side. A really long lob pass. Still has the ball position. Islam trying his level best to get the second goal for himself to get the lead on uh, this particular game. But for now, crossing on towards the side of Mbappe. Might have the control, but no. Still going on towards the side of Griezmann. More than ready with the skill moves. This can be another one for the side of Islam. But yet again, it's going to be a miss onto the side of crossbar. And he is very unlucky, trust me. Ah. <laughs> Honestly, the second half looks a little bit more in the favor of France at this point. The way they are attacking, the way they are every now and then converting all those momentums in their favor. This really is going to make sure a lot of pressures. And as we can see, the position and also the shots on goal are way too high when it comes to Team France, especially in the second half. Another goal attempt was there. But of course, Ederson is going to take it away that easily. And there is already a pause being clued by this lad of uh, known as ADZ because he wants to go for some substitutes. That's what I was trying to get the idea for from the get-go of this particular matchup. You have to come up with some decent players to play along with. But, 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 is it going to be a goal? Which is away and finds the second one. There you go. France gets it done. Team management. And now some substitutes. Now some strategic advantages could be coming in. Fadeen is going to get substituted, I believe. And let's see how fruitful it is going to be there other than that when it comes to France they definitely have got the upper hand currently in their favor 45 minutes of this break is going to give a very good idea uh, to Dizzy that he has to come back in the game Haaland was able to get one goal now for Zayn could be the another guy that can easily secure a good goal but look at this with the wrong foot the way Haaland started it yeah. off the way uh, Dizzy started off was absolutely amazing. Again, another game gets started, but once again, the ball position gets snatched away. We already get to see a lead coming in from the player known as Islam, and Dizzy is just trying to chase that lead away. Oh boy, at this time around, uh, it's kind of hard to say whether you know Dizzy can get the equalizer for now. Correct me if I'm right. wrong. Dizzy was the uh, sorry. Dizzy was the guy who got the first goal. It was the side of uh, Islam. Yeah, he was. He was. Haaland was able to, from yeah. Dizzy's perspective, Haaland was able yeah. to get the first one. Yeah. So Dizzy was the guy to put up the first goal. Not able to maintain that lead, and now yeah. it's going to be the side of France, the side of Islam, to be on that intrigual lead. And of course, we can definitely see how he's placing up the defenders right on to take the. Uh, ball control on the all age of the pitch and also ready with the strikers and to put it away for the third one. A good tackle coming in to take the ball control. Dizzy trying his level best to get the through ball away with it. But ah, this might be a yellow card. And yeah, yes, of course, it's going to be a yellow card for Silva from Man City. So they have to like completely make sure that the rough tackles do not come in from especially Silva because double red, uh, double yellow cards will in turn result in the red card which is going to pressurize a lot when it comes to the team. Looking forward to see what happens next. We have uh, currently Islam already with the lead. It's a 2-1 situation and so far so now we have seen a very close cutthroat matchup. This is the least score line or lowest score line that we have seen today in the Ramadan Royal of EFC 24 because uh, the first game was 3-2 and then it was 4-2 and after that we got to see a 7-0 and then a 10-0 and currently it's 2-1. Of course, France might win. That can be the case because they're already on the winning streak. And look at this. Islam is making sure that he's going to consume a lot of times. He's just keeping the ball position to himself. He's making sure that he might actually get the third one as well. Oh, no, no, no. That's a very rough tackle. It is definitely going to result in a yellow card probably. Oh, no. It was not a yellow card but it's going to be a free kick for sure. With that, the final few moment of this particular game is also going to go down. And as expected, this one is for sure going to be the close cutthroat matchup that we were expecting. And the winner is going to be Dizzy. Barely by a margin, but then again, a winner is a winner. Uh, definitely, man. Dizzy was the guy who was able to capitalize on the mistakes being in, uh, being coming in 
uh, from his opponent who was none other than the side of Islam. Of course, Islam was the guy to put away the first goal for the entire game to take the first lead in the first half. But Dizzy, when he had the chance, when he had the opportunity, when he had the golden opportunity to put in the back of the net for his opponents, uh, uh, against his opponent, he did that in a really, really finishing move and he got away with the win. The win is there, the opportunity was there and Dizzy cashed in onto it. The way he was able to take that control from uh, receiving the first goal onto him, uh, having the team fans in your favour, having some star-studded players like you have Mbappe, yeah. you have players like Koman, you have players like uh, uh, Kolomani and Davy. Although Davy and Kolomani didn't was not there in the playing eleven, they were ready for the substitutes. But then again, if you see Koman, Nikunku is there. We have a very good a set of defenders also coming to the picture. For example, Hernandez was there. We got to see even uh, Silva doing some amazing stuff from the Real Madrid's perspective. But the red cards were coming in, so I would like to once again add on that. Real Madrid as a team, Dizzy as an individual, was going for those rough tackles. At the end, it didn't pay it off because he got a lot of yellow cards as well and also a uh, loss in his favour. It happens, guys. It's a learning curve that is going to be there for both the individuals. To be precise, if you talk about even at this point, Islam, he was able to win this particular game. But the fact is, the lead was not that much. And if Islam is going to face in the next few matches against Fozzi or players like uh, Abdullah Basha, he has, to make sure, he has to make sure that he is good enough he is ready with the strategies to tackle against those lads but yes folks all of the matches for the broadcast has been done and dusted for all the latest updates make sure to follow our broadcast part of the esports club on all of the socials make sure to follow our sponsor the powered up by zota gaming but yes folks the true gamers Ramadan royal cup is not just yet over tomorrow we have the tekken 8 action coming up at the same time so folks make sure to subscribe yeah. make sure to like the stream we'll see you tomorrow this was bullet on the desk with video and cyber raider as always, happy gaming. We'll see you on the next one.
did everything that you thought you knew. I do things better, you know I do. The rhythm I have can escape it. Baby, don't fight it, embrace it. De la cabeza lo que. El ritmo te mueve otra vez. Suena el tambor, así es mejor. Deja esa timidez. Don't fight it, just do it. You like me, cause I move it. Everything you want gonna come full swing. I just need you to do one thing. Muévelo. Feeling the euphoria. Y el ritmo sigue subiendo. Ya tú sabes lo que estoy haciendo. Sigue la fiesta, sigue el tempo. Y yo te doy lo que sigue pidiendo. Don't fight it, just do it. You like me, cause I move it. Everything you want, gonna come for swing. I just need you to do one thing. Muévelo. 